Hello everyone, this is Stephen Brenner and today we are going to do a brief walkthrough via a video tutorial on using Menu Magic's Dupe Fixer as found in version 2.3.1 of Menu Magic and how it affects Cakewalk by Banlab or Sonar versions 6 through Platinum. For simplicity, from this point on I will refer to all those DAWs simply as just Cakewalk. Before we go into Menu Magic's Dupe Fixer, we need to take a quick detour on how some of the features of the current version of Menu Magic work. In Menu Magic, you can organize which of your plugins will appear under what menus in a plugin layout menu in Cakewalk by using its categories. And those categories will become menus when you switch to the Menu Creation tab. When we switch to Menu Magic's Categorization tab, you see the various controls for managing your categories. Any categories that you create here will become menu items. For demonstration purposes, I'll create a test category, all nice plugins, and assign some plugins to it. When I switch over to the menu creation tab, you can now see all nice plugins and the plugins it contains. Switching back, if I delete the category all nice plugins, the menu item will have also have gotten deleted and any plugins it contains are now uncategorized. Now, the reason we are talking about the categorization tab is because of one of its features and how it relates directly to the dupe fixer workings. If we look at the list of categories, down at the bottom, there are two that start with an asterisk. Hidden and exclusions are special menu magic system categories. Regarding exclusions, any plugin placed in the exclusions category will be seen by Cakewalk as excluded and will not show up in any menus. The problem is that using this is that it excludes all plugins that have the same plugin ID, the CLS ID number, which hides all VST2 versions of that plugin, not just the dupes. Hidden is a Menu Magic custom item. Any plugin placed in Menu Magic's hidden category will not appear in the created plugin layout menus. It is plugin specific, i.e., it only affects that specific plugin and not other instances of it. Let's now bring up the dupe fixer. Click on the tool tab at the top of the program, then on the fix dupes button at the bottom. We are now in the dupe fixer. The plugin dupe fixer grid takes up most of the program window and it provides details on which plugins Menu Magic's algorithm thinks are or might be duplicates. The dupe type column in the grid identifies the type of plugin, dupe or possible dupe. Dupes are plugins that Cakewalk's VST scanner has identified as being the same plugin. They have been assigned the same CLSID number, and you have no control of which one Cakewalk is going to use. Possible dupes, on the other hand, are plugins that Menu Magic thinks might be dupes. On the left are checkboxes that control various functions. We'll go more into those in a moment. At the bottom are the left and right detail panes. Right above the detail panes is a splitter bar which you can use to resize the visible area of the detail panes. Going back to the grid and the checkbox columns on the left, the DL column puts info on that particular and the detail left box and the bottom portion of the screen. The DR column checkbox does the same thing in the detail right pane. You can use these for comparing plugins. The 2H column stands for to hide. Any plugin with a check in the 2H column will be moved to the hidden category discussed earlier when you click on the process duplicate button near the bottom right side of the information grid. Based on a preference algorithm, the order of which is VST3, then VST2 64-bit, then VST2 32-bit. We can see that here for the RV0 verb plugin. Currently, the dupe fixer does not consider plugin version or the file date when comparing two dupes of the same type, for example, VST2 64-bit plugins. That feature is planned in one of the next releases. For now, the plugin with the shortest path is the comparison winner. With possible dupes, no hiding action is suggested. It's up to you to evaluate and select an appropriate action. The CH column, CH stands for currently hid. In other words, plugins that you have already assigned to the hidden category. If you haven't used the dupe fixer before, 
this column will be empty. Once you have verified your options, you can click on the Process Duplicates button. Here we see the results. If you are happy with them, be sure to save your session and save your plugin menu. A comment on why MenuMagic hides dupes instead of disabling them or deleting them? This is done because it is non-destructive. At any time, you can undo things, change things, etc. One downside to this method is that the VST scanner still has to scan and process everything regardless of whether it shows up in a menu or not. If you have a lot of plugins, and especially if you use other DAWs as well as Cakewalk, I'd recommend something similar to what I call a strategic VST plugin folder setup. I'll cover that in detail shortly in another video.